Hi everyone, we're going to do a quick video just to explain what is the difference between a nociception and a withdrawal reflex. So the first thing that we need to remember is that the withdrawal is actually a reflex, so it's local. Remember that this is like a defense mechanism, so it doesn't need to go all the way up to the brain, it doesn't need a conscious, it just needs to have a normal brachial or lumbar plexus intact. So first important thing, do not mistake a reflex, a dog that is retrieving the leg with a voluntary response. And then we have the nociception, which is a response. What does that mean? That it needs to go all the way up to the brain. So when we are checking for nociception, we need a dog that is telling us that he can feel that a push into the leg. So very important concept, we could have a dog that has a completely sectioned spinal cord at the level of T3, L3, and he could have absolutely no nociception, he could not feel at all the limbs, but he will still have a withdrawal reflex. Why? Because the L4, S1 lumbar plexus is intact. So how can we check this? So we can see this drawing of the dog and flexing the leg and also looking up. So the first thing that we are looking at is at the withdrawal reflex. You see how that blue dorsal uh, sensory uh, part of the nerve is going up to the dorsal horn. The withdrawal reflex is a polysynaptic reflex, so it's going to do a synapsis within the gray matter and then just locally go back to the leg and create that flexion of the leg. Re remember, this is local, doesn't need to go all the way up to the brain. And then we have the nociception, which it starts on the same way, so it go up through the dorsal horn, but then is synapsing through the gray matter, going to the spinothalamic tracts, needs to go all the way up to the brain, and then the dog needs to react, needs to tell us that he has felt that. So not having nociception, it means that there is a severe spinal cord lesion, and not having reflex just tell us that the L4-S1 area is affected this on clinic. You can see this dog on the left that has uh, no deep pain but we still have a withdrawal reflex. You can see he's not reacting at all. You see that legs are moving but this is just like a reflex. That is not a voluntary response. That is just a reflex. How do we know that this dog cannot feel? Because if you check the same dog on a normal leg, look at that lips. Look at that lips, how he is telling us that he can feel that. He's doing a withdrawal reflex, but he's also telling us that he can feel and he doesn't like it. I hope that you like it. Good luck.